Yeah, mate. Sup, my purples. Welcome to the black hole. My name is Bless Beats. I'm a neoliberal commie. Since the Rona times, it's become much more visceral to be able to communicate, collaborate, and work more efficiently online. The times are here, the future is here, and we are the robots. We were, let us say, experimenting with this for the first time in our Discord, the black hole, a while back. And that's the first time that I really looked into researching this. Turns out people want to collaborate live and they want to do something else than the Instagram DM. Hey bro, let's collaborate. I'll send you a stolen loop from a sample pack. Hit me up when you're done. Technology is here and really it's quite amazing to say the least. We can now collaborate live with each other. And that's the solution that we were looking for. In this journey, I came across three different alternatives that I all think have their pros and cons. We're gonna go through the three of those and then who, who knows, maybe I'll tell you which one is my favorite and why. Check them out. First one is called Soundtrap. And it's probably the most popular one because it's owned by Spotify these days. And uh, you can tell they got a bunch of money in the back, you know what I'm saying? As you can see here, it's geared toward noobs. You get a choice between music and podcast because everybody wants to make a podcast nowadays. So the single mothers, they can press podcast, they can record a couple of tracks and then upload it directly to Spotify. So it's a distribution deal type thing here too. This one is probably the easiest to use. You can see here and all the colors. It's like a children's book. You can chat directly with your collaborators here, even do a video chat. So that's pretty radical. Other than that, it is probably the most limited one of the three as well. But you can do some basic stuff. There's a bunch of sounds in here that you can play with, with a virtual keyboard or even plug in a MIDI keyboard and you can record audio. There's a small community aspect to it too, where you can have your profile and listen to other people's creative work that they made in here. Me and Only Phantom on the Discord basically just made loops in our respective DAWs and threw them in here and used it for arrangement. And it works fine for that purpose, except for when you wanna start tracking stuff out because you're basically bound to this and bouncing out the files in one wave or mp3 file and the wave file you need the premium version to export the sounds in here sound all right but if you want to take it to the next step and uh, bounce all your stuff from out of here and keep working on it you know bounce the midi files and maybe change the sounds up it becomes pretty limited so this works more like a sketch pad than anything else in the end for me biggest con is you cannot collaborate in real time live you have to continuously synchronize so that means it's not a real live experience you know what i'm saying for complete noobs this is the best option other than that it is the worst option plus for sleek design but that's about it our second alternative is called ohm studio and it's apparently been around for a while it's a full-fledged daw the minus with this is you have to actually download it and uh, you can't do it in complete real time with this one neither. But you can actually use VST plugins, which is not possible with any of the other two options. It has most of the functionality that you would expect from any modern DAW. And it's the most difficultized to use, granted. It has the steepest learning curve, but if you have a couple of years of experience, it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to get into it. For the well-seasoned pro, this is probably the choice. But it's not the type of software that you call up a friend and say, hey, meet me up in Ohm in about 15 minutes. Just learn it and let's go instantly. You're gonna have to put some people onto this compared to the other two choices. Getting started is free, but it comes with a set of limitations, bouncing high quality audio being one of them. But it's not a subscription service like Soundtrap or Soundation, so it's a one-time fee that you're paying for either the Pro or the Super Pro version. Soundation is the one I'm gonna be fanboying for. These guys are, they got a big focus on the community aspect. You can upload your tracks here and collaborate with each other. They put out a lot of good content, tutorial content and tips, everything regarding collaboration between producers. 
a good chunky sized sound bank of both samples and virtual synthesizers that they made themselves and put in here. A full DAW in your browser and skill wise this is a medium level learning curve. It is not for the absolute noobs in my opinion but the interface is very intuitive and sleek and easy. You can chop your samples, time stretch them, edit your automation very easily. Obviously, the VST plugin support is not there yet with the technology being for this multi-thread assembly code. But for my purpose, it works perfect. If I want a synthesizer sound from a favorite plugin, I'll just lift it in here and import it. But the main purpose is to uh, get a sketch down and do it real time live with a collaborator. And this really does the job really well. The only thing that's limiting at the moment, but I heard it's on the roadmap so we don't need to worry about that really, is exporting MIDI and, uh, and multiple stems at once from your project. That sort of limits you to this box and finishing your tracks in here. But like I said, it's on the come up. I hope they get it sorted out pretty soon. That would be my number one priority. And uh, let me tell you, I am indeed a fan of this already. You can start working on some ideas from scratch with your buddy boys. And rumor has it, you can actually collaborate up to uh, around 500 people in here on one project and it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm thinking we should go for a world record of 500 billion in the Black Hole Discord. So if you're not part of the Discord yet, come join our beautiful community of producers. Let us make some shit happen, you know what I'm saying? It's a subscription model, the prices are fair, and I would say definitely go for the premium model because you want that sound import. Combo this up with a buddy or two a zoom video hangout chat or a google hangouts or something like that and you've got yourself damn near a real experience right at the comfort of your own home if you like this right about around here you smash that like you subscribe it and you join the discord as well for the weekly beat challenge and all of that who who knows maybe you and me can get a collabo on you know what i'm saying all right also please let me know what do you prefer would you prefer to have some loops sent to you and work on them and then pass them back and forth because sometimes that's with time efficiency and we live all over the world you know what i'm saying sometimes that's the efficient way to do or would you rather prefer to have that real time communication emotional tension experience with, the, with each other. Let me know in the comments. Okay, bye-bye.